Hi everyone, welcome back. Nicole here with Edge of Wild. Today is April 29th and I'm going to go out and plant the seed tape for the carrots that I made the other day. Uh, it is really windy outside, like 20 to 30 mile an hour gusts. So I'm not going to talk once I'm out there because you're not going to hear a word I say. Uh, we did get the garden tilled last night, the other half. So it seems a bit overwhelming to get that other side set up because just looking at it, I'm like, oh my gosh, I know how much work it's been to get this side of the garden. Now I have to get that side and it feels overwhelming. It'll be fine. I have nothing that needs to get in the ground on that side in the next like week, week and a half, but it just seems like a lot. So we're going to start though, get our carrots in the ground. Way that I'm going to do that, the soil is moist from the rain that we've gotten today. I'm going to pull the soil to the side, lay my seed tape down flat to the best of my ability. I'm going to try to make sure that the seed, this part where I actually put the seed in, um, is up. And then the glue dot, the flower water paste, is on the bottom. And then I'm just going to cover it with dirt and hope it doesn't blow away. I'm not going to bury it very deep. It's going to be really light. It's compost that's on top, so it's really light and fluffy. They should be able to take right off. Um, I will probably water it in just because then like the, the toilet paper should really stay still if it's, if it's wet. It's not going to blow away like it would if it's dry. Um, but I'm not going to put a lot of water on it because we are supposed to get rain for the next, at least sprinkles, for the next four days, possibly the rest of the week. Uh, coldest temperature on the seven day forecast at least right now is 37. I think I'm going to stick some of the yarrow, or all the yarrow, and the two, um, see, excuse me, the two sea holly plants out as well. I think they'll do just fine out there. They're low enough to the ground, I'm not as concerned about the wind whipping them around. I would love to put the snapdragons in, but they are so tall, honestly the wind would just beat the daylights out of them. So. I think I'm going to have to wait until Monday or Tuesday evening to put them in when the wind calms back down because they can handle wind after they've been out there for a little bit, but 30 mile an hour wind, a little too much to start. They're actually like in the garage today hanging out, not because it's cold, but because it, they'd blow every leaf right off of them right now with how windy it is. So I'm gonna get out there, get started, bring you along so that you can watch because you're not gonna be able to hear. <laughs> All right, let's go get this done. The first thing that I did was work on spacing out rows that I could fit. I knew I was going to be able to fit all 16 carrot rows. As you can see, this is quite the struggle. I just did the best that I could. The toilet paper kept like folding up and over and wanting to double layer over the seed. So I just kind of took the time to the best of my ability and put that back 
so it was flat. The wind blew you guys over, so... But it worked out. You still have a decent view of what I'm trying to do and the real-life struggle that is trying to put this in the ground at 30 mile an hour winds. I attempted to add in a windbreak with the cardboard on the prevailing wind side. It didn't really help, but it didn't hinder, so I just kind of left it there and kept going. The camera does die, so we only make it like three or four rows into planting the carrots. But you can see I keep a very light layer of dirt over the top, and then I will water it in to help hold everything in place. <laughs> It was windy out there. I got my hair is very windswept. Um, got them all in. Camera died like four rows in, so you didn't get to see my struggle the whole time. But it didn't get better. It just, yeah. I did flap the camera over to the other side and took a piece of cardboard out there and put that up against like from the prevailing side of the wind to try and help block it. I don't know that it really did all that much, but I tried. So they're in the ground. I watered them in. I literally could barely get the water to go where it was supposed to be going because the wind is so strong. It's great. But they're in the ground. I did not put anything else in the ground because the wind is incredibly frustrating. There's only so much I can put up with. So I wasn't doing that today. Might do them tomorrow. We'll see. I think the other thing I'm going to work on, the potatoes need to go in the ground, both because the potatoes want to go in the ground and it's time for the potatoes to go in the ground. So probably going to cut them today so that those can heal over and I can put them in the ground tomorrow. Hopefully there's less wind. I don't really think it's supposed to be. But the good news is potatoes shouldn't blow away. So there's that. Okay, everyone, I hope you had a good laugh watching me struggle in the 30 mile an hour wind with toilet paper, but have a good one. I will see you in the next one.